Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, uh, freedom of religion is guaranteed in the Constitution. And even though as an atheist, I think the whole religion thing is unbelievably stupid, a con and a hustle, I have no argument with the constitutional guarantee. We've got a lot of right-wing Christians out there talking about freedom of religion who have no clue what that actually entails. They, have, they think that the Constitution guarantees them a lot of things it doesn't. So here's the deal. You are free to pray to the God of your choosing, whichever one of the 2,000 or so gods that are out there that you might want to pray to, free to pray to them in the way that you want. You're free to celebrate your various r rituals as your religion prescribes within reason. And that within reason thing is pretty important. Because, uh, for example, you're not free to perform human sacrifice, even if your religion calls for it. Uh, and you're not free to commit Ill illegal acts in the name of your religion. No matter what you might think God wants. You can buy property and put your church up there. And you can put your religious symbols up on that property. You're not free to put those religious symbols up on somebody else's property. The Catholic Church can't go down the street to the synagogue and put their religious symbols there. And they are also not free to put those symbols up on government property. And this is where the right-wing Christians immediately start screaming that they are being persecuted and denied their freedom of religion. They're not. Government property belongs to all of us. Yes, it belongs to you Christians, but it also belongs to Muslims, Hindus, Baha'i. It belongs to atheists and Satan worshippers, too. And it belongs to uh, all the varieties of Christian groups. So it's inappropriate to place your religious symbols on government property, whether it's state, local, or federal, because that property also belongs to people who don't believe like you do. So if you put a crèche at City Hall, then, uh, hey, if somebody wants to put up a picture of the flying spaghetti monster, Right next to Joseph, they should be able to do it. If a Satanist wants to put up a picture of the devil standing over the cradle, they should have the right to do that too. Now the Christian right also thinks that their religious beliefs give them the right to discriminate against others. And they do have that right. You have that right in your churches, you have that right in your charities or in your nonprofits. But if you start a business, that business is governed by the rules and laws that govern every other business. And your religion doesn't get any exceptions for that. A business is a business, a church is a church. Now, so if you don't get to impose your religious beliefs on your customers, on your employees, because they have their right to freedom of religion too. So if you are a deeply religious person and you feel that you can't operate under the laws that govern all businesses, then the Constitution guarantees you the freedom not to be in business. Thanks for listening.